Hello and welcome to uh, this little variation on a slime farm that I have. As you can see behind me, I have pretty much your standard platforms are three and a half. The plat or well, let me try that again. The platforms are three and a half blocks away from each other, three blocks from the the light source. There we go. So between each light source is three blocks. Between each platform is three and a half. And the reason for this is that the bigger slimes, yes, they'll hit their head a little bit, on, or their, the top part of themselves on here, but they'll be able to do full jumps across. It is also only two blocks tall from here. And we'll go ahead and go into game mode three come under here and you can just see that the track comes out and around and loops back in on itself there's only one small little dead spot in this whole thing and that is right here that I have found if a slime ball somehow lands like right here it may or may not be picked up but the likelihood because of the size I have only ever seen it actually happen once in some of my testing so I don't really believe it's that big of an issue but what I'm going to do is I am going to run an hour-long test from up here and when I come back, or when you guys, well, when I bring back the video, it will already been an hour. And we will see how many slimes this has produced in one hour. Now, it's not exactly a scientific test because obviously I've got it locked in on day. We go to options. Okay, we're on normal. But basically, we've already got two big slimes. I was going to edit or use the video and just speed up the footage, but I still may do that. I do not know. But when I come back, it'll be one hour later.
Okay, well, that's one hour in. Maybe one hour and a few minutes. We'll go ahead and switch this back to peaceful. And now we will go down and see what all has been got. Break that. Let that go for one more quick little trip around. I'm not going to open that chest until I know that that minecart is completely empty. But yeah, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave in the a, like a time lapse of all the slimes jumping in for a full hour. I'm going to try, so if you've already seen it in the video, obviously, I got it to work. And there's the last of the slime balls. And let's see how many's in here. Okay, we've got just a bit over a half a double chest. Which means that that is 27, 28. Let's pull up little old Mr. Calculator here. And see what we have. We have 20, oops, 28 times 64. 792 plus the 6 is 1,798. So almost 1,800 slime balls in just that little bit of time. Now I've had other results where it's gotten close to 2,000, so I'm going to say roughly right around uh, 18, 1850. This is about what's average for this farm. Which isn't too bad, considering it doesn't use any water. It does use a bit of redstone. I'm sure there's a cleaner version of this unloader that uses less resources. I just put two double chests because I didn't know for certain how much it was going to need. But still, that's for one hour in eh, semi-optimal conditions. Not too bad, and this is also only eight platforms. I could go one more taller, as well as I could slab off the whole area around it for probably a hundred and some odd blocks around it. I did take out here so the slimes wouldn't spawn and stay, but not too bad. I mean, it's basically like a slime farm, just instead of water here. You have your magma blocks, and then you have the the minecart trail that goes through there. But hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and the slight explanation as to how this farm works. As you can see, I put these pillars in here, and I don't see any slime balls in any corner. Because that was something I was having an issue with, is that they'd come down and they'd get trapped in that little space there. And that seems to alleviate it. Um, you might be able to get more slimes by having iron golems. I tried it, I didn't really notice the difference. It was still about the same number. This is actually kind of one of the lowest, well not one of the lowest, I've actually seen lower in an hour's time, but this is actually pretty low. Usually I have to about here filled. So I mean, almost a half a double chest worth of slime balls in an hour. Not bad. I mean, how much slime balls are you going to need? Right, there's a 60, or well, that's, yeah, 64 slime blocks, another 64 slime blo blocks. So you have three stacks of 64 slime blocks. That is not bad. And then s sticky pistons and lassos. But hopefully you enjoyed the little video. I uh, sure enjoyed making it. And until next time, guys, have fun.